If you're thinking about starting an online store, then you've probably heard of Shopify. It's one of the top e-commerce platforms out there. And for good reason, Shopify has grown really quickly because it's incredibly user-friendly and perfect for beginners and pros. Whether you're selling handcrafted goods or launching a full-scale business, Shopify makes the process easy and smooth. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up and start selling on Shopify step-by-step. Step. By the end, you'll have everything you need to get your store alive and ready to start taking orders. If you don't have a Shopify account yet, no worries. You can follow along just by using the deal in the description. It gives you a three free day trial. And after that, if you want to keep using it, you'll only need to pay $1 for the first three months. So once you're done signing up with Shopify, you'll be taken to the Shopify dashboard where you can add products right away by going to the left-hand side and adding products in this manner. So uh, this is where you add the details of your items. So things that you would expect, the title, the description, it shouldn't be too overwhelming, but informative to the point where the customer gets an idea of what they're buying. The media should be different angles, perspectives of your product if possible, but it always has to be high quality images, the pricing, inventory, shipping, that's all self-explanatory. For the variants, this is how you add different uh, sizes, colors, editions for books, for example. And so this is how you add physical products. You can also add digital ones. For example, if you have an ebook or some sort of training course, you can download the Shopify digital downloads app from the App Store or the Shopify App Store rather. And that's how you can add files into your Shopify store and start selling digital products. If you don't have a product of your own to sell on Shopify, you might want to consider dropshipping. With dropshipping, you find a product from a supplier listed on your Shopify store. And when someone makes a purchase, you place an order with the supplier to ship the product directly to the customer. The profit you make is the difference between what you charge the customer and what you pay the supplier, minus any fees and advertising costs. The key thing is you never handle the product yourself everything is managed through your store and the supplier. So you might be wondering, where do you actually find products for dropshipping? Well, a lot of people turn to AliExpress for dropshipping because it's very popular, but it does have some downsides, especially when it comes to shipping times. Since most of the products are shipped from China, customers could end up waiting two weeks or even a month for their order. And let's be real, ain't nobody trying to wait that long. That's why I personally recommend CJ Dropshipping. They offer tons of products. And the cool thing is that they have suppliers with warehouses in different countries, which means fast shipping times. If you're selling in the US, for example, you can filter for products that are stored in US warehouses. You can do the same if you're selling in the UK or even Australia. This way, your customers get their orders faster and you avoid the headaches that come with long shipping times. Now let's dive into how to import a product into your Shopify store using CJ Dropshipping. First, sign up for it. It's free, which is great. Then connect your Shopify store by installing CJ on Shopify and authorizing it. You may need to log in, but regardless, afterwards, you'll be taken to the CJ dropshipping website. Once you're set up, browse through their products and find something that you wanna sell like these tents. So then add it to your import list, review and publish it. And there you go. Your product is now in your Shopify store, complete with all the images, descriptions, prices, and variants. So it really is that easy. Once you've added some products to your Shopify store, go to the online store tab right here. And in the themes tab, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can visit the theme store to see the rest of the themes that are available. Now, I'd recommend going with the free ones just to start out, just, you know, to get yourself familiarized with it. Uh, and once you've made your decision, go to the online store tab and then click on customize to begin editing things. Following this, you're gonna be greeted with your template editor where you're gonna spend all of your time customizing the aesthetic side of your store. Now, I'm not gonna go into any detail on how to customize your store and all the things that you should be taking into consideration because I already have a half hour long tutorial that I'm gonna link in the description below that goes into depth on all of those things. But what I will show you is how the items look on our page. You don't have to do any work outside of adjusting some of the aesthetic details. So you get to spend time doing the more enjoyable side of building your site while the heavy lifting is left to someone else. So now your Shopify store is set up, but how do you actually get people to find it? 
Well, there's a few ways to advertise and they're pretty easy. Now, you can use platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. They're great for sharing your products and telling your story. So start posting, engaging, and even running ads that target your audience. A small budget can really go a long way. You can also partner with micro influencers who align with your brand. They can share your products with their followers, which builds trusts and it boosts sales. Also consider collecting emails by offering a discount and send regular updates, new product alerts, or promotions. And lastly, invest in Google Ads. This can target specific keywords related to your products and Shopify does integrate with Google, which makes this setup a lot easier. And that's all I have for today's video, folks. I hope I was able to get you on the right track and provided some info that you may have needed. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. And again, you can try Shopify free for three days to see if it works for you and then continue using it for just $1 per month during the first three months. If you want help with building your site, you can always use my tutorials from the description below and get in-depth help with your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video though, consider liking and subscribing to show some support. At any rate, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.